The Social Teacher presents Hashtags for Learning. Six easy steps to use hashtags in the classroom. Step one is for you to create a hashtag and to identify the purpose of the hashtag. Your students have to know what the hashtag is going to be used and how it's going to be used. Is it going to be attached to all of the messages? Is it going to be attached to only replies? My recommendation is to attach it to all messages. And when I'm speaking of messages, I'm actually talking about tweets on Twitter. Step two is for you to identify the purpose of the hashtag. Is it going to be used for assignments, to share questions, surveys, image sharing, video sharing, or for the sharing of URLs? The reason for this is because once you tag something with a hashtag, you can go back and track it through the use of TweetDeck, Storyfy, and even the Twitter search. Step three is for you to identify the audience. Is the audience going to be K through 12, higher education? Are you going to be using it for face-to-face -face courses or for hybrid courses or even for online learners? You have to know what your audience is in order to determine how you will use these hashtags. Step four is to engage and collaborate with your audience. Now, there are several ways that you can engage and collaborate with your audience on Twitter, and the most common one is through Twitter chats which are at specific times that you set aside to actually have a conversation with your followers or to engage other Twitter users in a conversation through the use of hashtags. Step five is for you to demonstrate value added. What is the value of actually using hashtags on Twitter other than to tweet? Well, for one, you can ask questions of subject matter experts you can actually reach out to other educators and ask questions of them and also to ask questions of your learners or to share questions with them for them to reply back to you with their answers that need to be tagged with the specific hashtag that you created for your class. Step six is for you to retrieve feedback and results. And the best way for you to do that is to go into TweetDeck and to search for the hashtag that you created so it can retrieve all of the tweets that were tweeted to a specific hashtag. This kind of serves as a history of what is actually being said about a topic, a question that was posted by you, or for you to look at the answers that the students are posting online and see how they are engaging with other learners in the online environment. And with that, I close by saying that you can follow me at Animal Pacheco IT to learn more about how to use Twitter, Twitter for education, and the use of hashtags. Thank you.